definition of exact equation, the differential form m of x and y dx plus n of x and y dy is said to be exact in a rectangle R if there is a function like f such that the partial derivative of f with respect to x becomes m and the partial derivative of f with respect to y becomes n for every point like x and y in rectangle R. That is, the total differential of f satisfies the following equation. The differential of f is basically m dx plus n dy. In that case, if you have an exact differential form, then you can form an equation, which is basically a differential equation, m dx plus n dy equal to zero, and you can call it exact equation. We have a theorem here. Suppose the first partial derivative of m and n are continuous on a rectangle like R. Then this differential equation is an equation that is exact in R if and only if it satisfies partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. So basically, if this condition is met, then you can say that, hey, you have an exact differential equation. Let's take a look at this example. Is the following differential equation exact? You have 2xy times dx plus x squared minus y dy equal to 0. Please note that m is 2xy and n is x squared minus 1. Remember that our goal is to check to see if partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x or not. It's very easy to see that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is 2x. When you're taking the derivative of m with respect to y, x acts like a constant. So here you have 2 times x, which is basically is a constant. Partial derivative with respect to y y disappears and you end up with 2x. On the other side, the partial derivative of n with respect to x is 2x. Left-hand side and right-hand side are equal to each other, so you can for sure say that you have an exact differential equation. Another example for you. Your m is 2 to power e to power 2y minus y cosine xy dx, and your n is 2x, e to 2y minus x cosine xy plus 2y dy equal to 0. I want to check to see if this is an exact differential equation or not. So we need to take the partial derivative of m with respect to y, check to see if it's equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x or not. So to take the partial derivative of m with respect to y, we need to take the partial derivative of e to power 2y with respect to y, and then start taking the partial derivative of this multiplication with respect to y. But note that the partial derivative of e to the power 2y with respect to y is nothing but 2 e to the power 2y. We're using basically chain rule. However, when we're trying to find the derivative with respect to y for y cosine xy, this is basically applying the product rule. For the product rule, you can say, hey, f is equal to y and g is equal to cosine xy. And when you're taking the derivative with respect to y, x basically is a constant. So basically, remember the product rule. The derivative of fg with respect to y is the derivative of f with respect to y times g plus f times the derivative of g with respect to y. So the derivative of y cosine xy with respect to y becomes the derivative of y with respect to y times cosine xy plus y times the derivative of cosine xy with respect to y. But basically, the derivative of y with respect to y is just 1, so it disappears. You end up with cosine xy plus y, the derivative of cosine xy with respect to y is x times negative sine of xy. If you simplify this, you get cosine xy minus yx sine xy. So on the left-hand side, the partial derivative of m with respect to y is 2 e to the power 2y. Remember that you have a negative sign here. 
if you distribute this negative sign, you get negative cosine xy plus xy sine xy. At the same time, if you apply the same rules for n, the partial derivative of n with respect to x is also equal to the quantity on the other side. So you basically say that, hey, you have an exact differential equation.